Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Rob Unscripted. Today we're going to talk about parametric optimization and my continuing campaign to stop WAG engineering. WAG, a.k.a. Wild Ass Gas. Now, in this episode, we are going to optimize the design of a table. This little platform here, this, is, this holds a, uh, a robot, and this robot's about 2,000 pounds. And I want to make sure that I'm using the right size material for this. And I'm going to do that through uh, simulation. So I'll create a new simulation and assign the right material to the components. Now, when you're designing uh, really early in the design process, you know a lot of times you don't go through and, and place all the eye properties and such. But here, we can really, really quickly and easily populate all the material for this entire assembly just by doing copy and paste. So I need to set up the environment here a little bit. It's pretty easy to do. I need to add some fixed constraints. It's going to be mounted to the floor, so uh, it's going to be fixed on the bottom here. Now I need to add a force uh, and determine what the force is going to be. The force is going to be the weight of the robot, 2,000 pounds. Now a couple other things I need to do is I want to g reach into one of the components that's driving the member width of all the other components in this assembly, and that's uh, the uh, the parameter member width in my base plate.ipt. And I want to tell it the range uh, that I want to set up this particular optimization for, so one to three. Now, a couple other things I want to do is I want to set up uh, a couple design constraints, some von Mice uh, 45,000 uh, with the safety uh, factor of 1.5. And I also want to set it up to where the upper limit of my maximum displacement is 0.01. Now, one more I want to do is I want to add yet another element to this equation, and that's going to be mass. And I'm going to determine that after I have it actually go through and generate all the configurations and run the simulation. So I've generated all the configurations, and now I'm going to tell it to go ahead and run the simulation. So once the simulation is complete, I can go through here and evaluate my results. Now, as I go through here, I can, I can have it... Uh, just with the slider bar here go through the the iterations and give me a little bit of preview and everything but through the design constraints I can just tell it to you know show me the lower limit uh, of the mass and it gives me some immediate feedback but I can take that just a little bit step further and rather than just showing me the lower limit why don't you go ahead and minimize based upon the entire configuration and my von Vi mice is uh, is good to go and my maximum displacement is good to go so from there, then, I can go back into the analysis here and take a look at some of the other uh, types of stresses it ran for me. First principle stress, third displacement, and safety factor. Now, as you saw in previous demonstrations of utilizing this simulation functionality, I can publish these all out. But here, I'm going to go ahead and plot out the uh, displacement on a graph. And once I found the optimum configuration for this, I'll just go ahead and promote that configuration down to the model. And I'm good to go. So just like that, I've been able to determine the exact size material that I need given the environment that this assembly is going to be put in. And I've optimized my design so that minimized costs associated to overuse or misuse of the types of materials that I need for this particular design. Again, I'm Rob Cohey. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and check us out at manufacturingcommunity.autodesk.com. See ya. I know what time it is. Time it is. It's the man, man.